In this video, we will learn how to export Revit Structural Model. In two e tabs, we will open Revit Structural Model we created earlier. Link of the Revit Structural file is attached in the description below. This is a small structural model we created in Revit. We will export this model to eTabs. Using CSIX Revit application, link to download. And install this application is attached in the description below. When we install CSIX Revit application, it will appear in the add-ins ribbon as external tool. We will click on export to create new eTabs model. Revit will ask what information we want to export to eTabs. We will exclude footings and export grids, frames, and slab. We can also export loads and load combinations if we apply loads in Revit model. Press OK. Now press OK again and save the export data. Now we will open eTabs and import the data. Click on Import in the File menu. In eTabs, we have Revit Structure Import File option. Click on it and import the saved data. eTabs has found three levels, one material, eight frame sections, and one slab. Click OK to proceed. Save eTabs file name. We can see our frame has been created in eTabs. Now let's change the 3D view to Extruded view. Click to open Set View Options. Click on Extrude Frame. We can see our beam and columns connected. Now we will change the view option back to an extruded view. Now let's display section sizes on the frames in the 3D view. Click on Object Assignments. Check on Sections in Frame Assignments. Here we can see that frame name is displayed on each frame member. Now we will open plan views. We have base, plinth, and roof plans. Open base plan. Select all the supports. Assign fixed support to these points. Now we will perform analysis on our eTabs model. Now let's see how our structure will look in deformed shape. Click on Start Animation. We can see our elements are connected. Now stop animation. Now let's see bending moment diagram of our frame. We will check dead case. Here we can see the middle beams have more load on them. And their bending moment diagram shows more moment value in the middle. These are individual shear force and bending moment diagrams for each frame member. Now let's run concrete member design. Click on design. Click on concrete frame design and then click on start design. Concrete frame design is ready. We will provide these reinforcements into our beams and columns. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe our channel to watch more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.